Rescue workers have been searching for flood victims amid thousands of calls for help and floodwaters that continue to rise, damaging homes, businesses, and infrastructure. The massive job of rebuilding Houston and other areas Harvey hammered will cost more and take longer because there is already a shortage of skilled construction workers like carpenters and bricklayers and of skilled people to manage projects. The Associated General Contractors of America found the skills shortage hit 70% of their members. Ken Simonson is the chief economist. In many cases, it means delay, that uh, it will take longer because uh, uh, companies that uh, are hiring subcontractors can't find ones willing to bid, or the subcontractors say, we'll get to it after we've done this job. Simonson says construction jobs have evolved from pick and shovel work to high tech tools like GPS and lasers. His industry is urging schools to offer more classes in construction skill. The storm has caused major damage to important assets. But a Cornell University expert says economic tools measure the impact poorly because they count rebuilding efforts as an economic boost, missing the cost of losses. Business professor Stephen Kyle. So in order to really get a handle on this, you would have to know what all of the houses, machinery, buildings, roads, what they're worth. And to be honest, we really won't know what all of that damage is until we actually go in and try and rebuild. Oil infrastructure is vital to the economy, and Kyle says whatever was damaged will be rebuilt quickly because companies need revenue from the facilities. Disruptions are still expected to raise the cost of gasoline in the United States by as much as six and a half cents a liter, at least for a while. Houston is the fifth largest U.S. container port. According to data analysis firm Pangeva, the storm stalls the thousands of containers that usually move through Houston daily, carrying auto parts and other goods. Oil shipments are also blocked. In normal times, Houston's airports handle 1,600 or more flights per day, but they are currently closed by foul weather. Jim Randall, VOA News, Washington.